Hello everyone, welcome to episode 33 of the Indivis Let's Play series. This episode is going to be a short one guys, unfortunately, but I want to just do a quick short episode on the Horn of the Wilds. Now I know we need some seeds. I do have a little bit of a cold, guys, so I apologise if I sound a little bit weird. We need some seeds. I need to put this the, these. Ooh, what's, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. I put these carpenters' pressure plates down. I think I'll go into more depth with them next episode. I'm going to put them in here. Is that not going to work? Or do I have to use grass? Hmm. I thought you could use seeds. Maybe not. Let's look for shears. Here we go. Let's get myself a piece of long grass and let's throw it inside the mana pool. Here we go, a pasture seed. You're probably thinking, why do I want a pasture seed? Now, ooh, we won't, won't actually have any living wood. So I think I'm going to have to go and get myself some. Thinking about it, I don't know where I actually put the plant which converts it. Why would I just put my pasture seed away? I haven't got a clue. So it's not in here. I think it was actually outside, guys. I don't know. Was it out here? You know, I think I might have put it in the AE system. Let's see. I, you know, I really have forgotten what it's called. I'll bring it back. Once I have found out which one it is. Okay guys, I've just been looking inside this and I found out it's the pure daisy. Now I don't know if we actually have the pure daisy. I assume we have. Yeah, pure daisy, here we go. Put that back in there and outside I think eventually I am going to create a nice botany room but for now I'll stick with this. So I'll put the wood down. Like so. That's gonna get turned into living wood, which will be pretty cool. So you know while I'm waiting for that, I will actually show you what you do with the carpenter's blocks. So what you do is you get yourself a carpenter's hammer, you right click it, where it'll only triggered by monsters, animals all entities or players. I set it to players and also you can set it to inverted signal by left clicking or normal signal. Personally though I want it on a normal signal. And I just got a carpenter's pressure plate and then I put the cobblestone from the chisel on it. I am trying to get Greg Tech installed but I can't seem to get a way to put it in easy mode. If you guys know a way how to do it then I'm definitely open to the idea. So what I want to make is a horn of the wild. This guy is really cool. It's just made a crafting bench, nothing too fancy. You'll see one of those pastures. Are they called pastures? Pasture seeds. And some living wood. And I want you to wait for this wood to be converted into living wood, which shouldn't be too long away. Also, Pam's Harvest Craft. I think we'll be coming to the mod pack soon, as Pam's Harvest Craft is a pretty neat little mod. Here we go. get this living wood. Let's see. So do that and let's put the pasture in the middle. And here we go. A horn of the wild. And all you have to do is just blow it. As you can see, it harvests nearby grass, seeds, and as you can see I don't believe it actually uses any form of energy, guys. I think it's just free. So just go around the terrain and just completely wipe air out of seeds. And then the magnetization can help you collect all those. I don't know why, guys, but I really cannot stand really long grass in Minecraft. I don't know whether it's because I'm just... Like, I hate clutter and stuff everywhere, but it just really doesn't look very nice. And... I also want to go and show you one really neat thing about it, guys. First, click will go and put these guys away. It can not only just be used for grass, but also for seeds on growing crops. And there you go, I just harvested all my crops like that. 
How cool is that, guys? If you ask me, that is pretty awesome. I'm just going to harvest these guys. It has a pretty good range on it, too. So there you go. It's harvesting made so much easier. And I'm really happy that I actually discovered this item. I discovered it not too long back. And that is the power of the Horn of the Wild. It is so cool. There's also another one, I believe. I don't know what it's called, but it allows you to clear out terrain. So if I stand on this level, it'll clear out all the terrain to make it on this level. It's really good for doing like, excavation and stuff. And this makes Minecraft really easy. Now, I think this is going to make the uh, A system full up with items. So that's 45 and 18. Well, they didn't do too bad. This guy is still processing. Well, it's definitely sorted out a lot. How much tin do we have now? I'm curious to see. Well, 478 tin. I don't think I'm going to be running out of that anytime soon. I'm just actually going to take this raw imp hide and just smelt it upstairs. I believe it's from the imps that I was killing in the nether. But yeah, definitely guys, I think I'm going to be able to have a lot of fun with this Horn of the Wilds. Just to be able to have the power to go around and just harvest everything. I don't know if it works on sugar cane. No, it does not work on sugar cane, nor pumpkins. It just works on things like grass, flowers, I don't know if it works on things from other mods. I think it does, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, let's take it this wheatgrass, for example. It clays it out, and that's from binds of plenty. Maybe it's any certain things it recognises? I don't know. It doesn't do vines either. And it makes this weird, weird humming noise whenever you do it. And because I do like neatness in Minecraft, that is definitely a way to do it very easily. Because in vanilla, you just have to go around clearing it manually. But in this, it doesn't actually harvest its like good things, like day blooms, like all your good botania flowers. It will just harvest non-essential flowers and stuff. So I'm just going to go around my house and just clean it up a little bit. With this Horn of the Wilds. I think I have just about done it. There we go, so that looks about all of the, well, most of the grass around the house. I am going to make a void aid soon though, guys, and disappear off and make a base in there. To say you can build really complex machines and not have to worry about lag. I know even the people like the best computers just do it, just get, like, especially on a server. Personally, I'm not playing on a server at the minute. I might play on a server soon, but not now. <laughs> But definitely, it really increases the tick rate of the server, and that is just so good for playing on servers. It just stops you having to just go and just have... Because it's just annoying when you're just playing in the overworld, and then you're in the same dimension as someone else who's got ridiculously advanced machine networks that are just ridiculous and just laggy and terrible. I mean, you don't want that at all when you're playing the game. So, having your own ages on servers is very, very good. So, I think I'm have special guests on this series, but I think before the episode ends, I want to look at these things called from Tinker's Construct. They are called heart canisters. You probably have heard of these guys before. If I just search up heart canisters, we're just going to make these miniature red hearts. I don't know where you get them from, actually. I think you get them from killing mobs. So, crafting item. Part of low level heart canisters can be eaten to restore 10 hearts. 